again. Uh, I am Jonathan Pogash, the cocktail guru, and welcome once again to Cocktails the Grand Tour, where we tell the story of mixing it up one cocktail at a time. This is so much fun. And you know, since its creation, a moment lost to history, but nevertheless argued over since uh, right around 1806 when a recipe for one appeared in print. The cocktail has influenced art and dance, film, music, and theater. Theater as well as economics and politics, absolutely, around the world. And this show, this show in particular, with me, celebrates that global cultural force, that singular icon, drink by drink. Hey, no passport required. We're in it together. We are traveling. And today, the Martinez, because the Martinez cocktail is one of those drinks that we think of as being sort of lost to time and was recently resurrected, oh, I'd say maybe a dozen or so years ago with, of course, the resurrection of the base spirit, which is actually Old Tom Gin. So Old Tom Gin has a history. I could do an entire episode just on Old Tom Gin, but we won't. We'll just briefly mention what is Old Tom Gin. It is an 18th and 19th century style gin that is slightly sweetened and high proof and oftentimes barrel aged. So this one in particular is barrel aged. There's a little story about a tomcat and a makeshift vending machine in the 18th century uh, in England that someone, uh, a, a shopkeeper, had this, this sort of spout outside of his shop. And people would go and put their jugs outside and refill their jugs with his gin, right? And the logo on the side of the building was a black tomcat or a cat. And so they decided to call it Old Tom Gin. Really cool, I love it. Um, a little bit of history of the Martinez cocktail. It is said that the Martinez is the missing link or it is that link between the Manhattan and the Martini. This is really, really cool. Now, um, there's this book called The Modern Bartender's Guide. Look at that, I love this. Um, O.H. Byron is the author, um, right? The Modern Bartender's Guide from 1884, Fancy Drinks and How to Mix Them, and then a long sort of subtitle. That's great, I love, I love these long subtitles from these 19th century cocktail books. This, this is one of the first mentions of the Martinez in print. And hey, this recipe is so simple. You wanna know why? This is what it says. Same as Manhattan, only you substitute gin for whiskey. Well, okay, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Now, um, Jerry Thomas also had a version of the Martinez in I believe his 1884, 1886 edition. This is another uh, reproduction of a cocktail book by Jerry Thomas in his uh, Bartender's Guide. Now, here, there's a little story about the Martinez. Uh, it is said that it actually predates 1884, which is when it was printed uh, in O.H. Byron's book. And here's a little story that I learned. Now, Jerry Thomas was a master mixer, one of the forebearers of mixology. He owned bars in San Francisco. A patron walked in and said, Jerry, uh, will you make me a cocktail? I'm on my way to Martinez. So Jerry said, absolutely, I'm gonna make you this cocktail, a variation on a Manhattan, and uh, I'm gonna call it the Martinez. So the link between the Manhattan and the Martini is, is quite simple because the Manhattan cocktail, of course, well, in here there are two different versions. In O.H. Byron's, a couple of different versions. Um, the Manhattan cocktail number two, Angostura bitters, whiskey, and Italian vermouth. Now, back in the 19th century, Italian vermouth was sweet vermouth. French vermouth was dry vermouth. Now, the, um, oh, this is, this is so much fun. The Martinez cocktail is kind of a blend um, between the Martini and the Manhattan. Um, we think evolutionary-wise, it is the missing link. So let's go ahead and start and call out these ingredients. Okay, so first of all, um, the category of this drink is stirred aromatic. I also like to say it is spirit forward. That's kind of a mixology term that we utilize in the industry. Um, the base ingredient, this is a straight base ingredient. We have Old Tom Gin. Here you go, here's one in particular, Old Tom Gin. So the classic recipes actually call for um, sort of a, a pony of this and a wine glass of that. Now a pony is about 30 milliliters or about one ounce. And that's what we're gonna do for the sweet vermouth. Okay, hey, take a look at this. So this is sweet vermouth or classically called Italian vermouth. And this is what the modifier is for the cocktail. Well, one of the modifiers, okay? It is an aromatic, uh, aromatized, uh, slightly sweetened wine based product. This is maraschino liqueur. This is really what makes this drink quite unique, okay? Maraschino cherry liqueur made from the pits, stems, skins of Marasca cherries from Italy. I had the pleasure of being in Italy and being able to try those products. It is not cherry flavored. It does not necessarily taste like cherry. His recipe, A.H.'s recipe, uh, was in 19th century classic terms, a pony glass of this, a wine glass of this. So it called for half of a wine glass, about two ounces, 
Now the seasoning, the bittering agent, these bitters, right? These are Boker's bitters. This is also a um, recipe that was lost to time that was recreated within the last dozen years. And of course the finisher, the garnish, is the lemon peel, which will add the aromatics. Oh my gosh, folks, I, I, am, I just wanna make this cocktail. Let's just go ahead and make this cocktail. This is a stirred cocktail. So I'm gonna start off with my mixing glass. I don't need my Boston shaker. No thanks, put that aside. Okay, here we go. Here's our old Tom gin. And I'm going to take my half of a wine glass, which is the equivalent of two ounces, right? And just pour it directly into there. Oh, look at that, that is lovely. And my sweet vermouth, okay? Or also known as Italian vermouth. Man, th this cocktail is just rich in history. Uh, I love it. This is great. We'll add our one ounce of the sweet vermouth to our mixing glass, just like that. And the maraschino cherry liqueur, oh, first of all, you have your vermouth in the refrigerator, keep it refrigerated, whether it's dry vermouth or sweet vermouth, because it is wine-based. Now, the maraschino liqueur, a little goes a long way, so what I'm going to do is take uh, two of these little bar spoons. So this bar spoon is a European-style bar spoon. It is actually half of an American-style bar spoon. So I am going to do two of these very carefully. There we go. Pour that right into my mixing glass. I can go ahead and throw my spoon in there and let some of those uh, ingredients kind of marry. So again, these bitters, right? The Boker's bitters. You may not have these at home. If you have uh, Angostura bitters or orange bitters, that is perfectly acceptable. In my Mr. Boss and Bartender's Guide, I have orange bitters as the uh, bittering agent. And we will take uh, three dashes of our Boker's bitters. Two, three. There we go. Oh, this is great. Okay. So now, ice, right? We have to chill down our drink. Shall we? Let's do it. Okay. There we go. And we'll stir. This is a stirred cocktail, as I mentioned, right? And when we stir a cocktail, we'll stir for how long? Huh? How long? Do you remember? Do you remember? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. 16 Mississippis is the amount of time that we stir for. Or in my brain, that's what I, you know, and then you cut down the time in half for your shaking, right? Okay. So we want to add dilution to the drink, right? Water and also the proper temperature for the cocktail. All right, here we go. And let's take our glass, our coupe glass or martini glass. There we go. And we will strain this out into our coupe glass. Look at that. Beautiful. And of course, our finish, our garnish. Here we go, a slice or a lemon peel. I'll cut the base and then I'll cut all the way from the top to the very bottom. And here we go, our lemon peel. Squeeze the skin side over the top, rub it around the rim, drop it in. Let's give it a taste. Hey, that rhymes. Mm. Oh yeah, beautifully aromatic, well-balanced. Fairly on the light side, but it is definitely spirit forward. Cheers, cheers. This is, this is a lovely drink. I love this. Um, the Martinez cocktail. Man, it is said that every picture tells a story. Well, the same is true for every cocktail. And while each drink a bartender prepares for you or you mix yourself at home, is certainly and quite literally the sum of its several parts. It's clearly so much more. So until next time, until next time, this is Jonathan Pogash your guide to cocktails, the grand tour. Cheers.